All right, so after I did that first video where I covered 10 video games that just came to mind, I thought I left way too many out. And so I didn't do another one. And again, this is just ones that popped into my head. These aren't exactly my favorites, but they're good. But they're just ones that popped into my head when I started thinking about what games did I play growing up? What games, you know, did I enjoy? Just ones that instantly popped into my head. And the first one was NBA Jam. Now, I, I could not get enough of this game. I loved this game. The fun beat-em-up style that it is, the zany antics, the alley-oops, the announcer, who can, who can forget the announcer? And then the version that I'm showing here is for the Xbox 360, and it's a fantastic version. And so with this game, I actually won very handedly, which is very rare to do in an NBA Jam game. And so I'm going to put in the corner of the screen, I'm just going to let this game play out. So you can see me as I'm playing it, and I'm not going to be actually playing it, but a video of the game that I played. And uh, it is pretty cool. I love NBA Jam, always have. Um, I thought it was great. The NFL Blitz and NBA Jam games were amazing. The NBA Jam they had in at Weber State University in the um, pool hall bowling area at Wildcat Lanes. And it was it was fun. They had um, an NBA Jam. They had an, an NFL Blitz. They had they used to have a lot of arcades. And then management decided, oh well, we need to not have those, and took away everything fun that was at Wildcat Lanes, and pretty much destroyed the place. So <laughs> that was a very very sad day when they just systematically removed everything fun from Wildcat Lanes. I mean, there's still bowling and billiards, but they took out the jukebox, they took out the video games, they took out the treats, they took out the drinks, they took out everything that could possibly entice people to come there, except for the bowling and billiards, which they were trying to get rid of that too. So um, the people that are in charge of that at Weber State University I'm not very fond of, but let's continue. So NBA Jam, Absolutely one of my favorite quarter munchers. This game was just so good. It was so fun. And that is what, you know, video games are about. It was fun. And I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Now, just like last time, I had a pinball game. And this time, once again, it was a pinball machine that was up at Weber State. And I absolutely loved it. I used to play it every time before class or... When I was walking by, it was just something I could go in and do to let my mind rest a little bit, but just have some fun. And that was Pinbot. And I played that quite a bit. I got pretty good at it, and because uh, I love pinball games. I'm sure you've realized that by now. But I love pinball games. And I, and I got decent at it. And that was one of my favorite games. I just really enjoyed that pinball game. You know, last time we had Gorgar, uh, this time we've got Pinbot. There are a lot of pinball games that I really, really like. And if I could ever get a version of Tommy the Pinball Wizard, I would be so happy. You know, the next one is Dungeons and Dragons, which was set in the Golden Axe style of gameplay. And yet it was kind of a role play game because you would uh, play the game, collect money, and as you progressed, you'd stop by towns and, and uh, buy equipment, buy upgrades, that kind of stuff. It was actually a really cool game. And again, when they released this on the home console, I was so happy because in the arcade, you put quarter after quarter in to keep your character going. And uh, when it got to the home, it was awesome. Because, you know, we could just continue our character and life was good. Okay, the next one is Scramble, which was one from back in the day. I think, I believe this one was at Gold Rush as well, back in Flagstaff in the 80s, early 80s. And it was fun. It was a, just a different, a different version of a side-scrolling shooter. 
but it was fun because it added the missiles it added straightforward uh, straightforward shooting and it was colorful and it was it was just a fun game it wasn't one of my favorites at all but it was fun it was the diversity in games that included these side scrollers that was just it was cool the arcades back then were a lot of fun i spent a lot of time in the arcades this next one is life force and that was at aladdin's castle in salinas and it was cool because i had already played gradius and that was on the nes you know there was also an arcade version of that but the life force was basically the same thing as gradius the same style of play just a different setting or backdrop whatever but they're fun i love these shooters where you shoot and you collect and then you build up your your uh, power-ups and you can choose which power-ups to get you, know, you have your missiles you have your what's called option where you have another thing shooting at the same time you do and then you have the different style of shooting like the lasers or the, the little like sound beams and stuff it was just a really cool game and i love the gradius style of games the the biggest leap i saw in that was when it went from gradius to gradius on the super nintendo and oh that was amazing the bubbles looked real that's all i'm gonna say okay the next one is satan's hollow this one again is kind of a space invaders um rip off i mean not a rip off but an evolution of the space invaders type game and so just like galaga or any other type of game it's just you have your ship ship down below you have the enemies up here they come at you you shoot them it was just never another variation of that and it was competent it was a good game and so i did put a ton of quarters into it but i liked it and of course who can forget the one of the all-time greatest quarter munchers pac-man now pac-man my most memorable time with pac-man um not only was the atari 2600 version which was so horrible but we loved it but when we lived in albuquerque and in our apartments we had the swimming pool rec area and they had a pac-man machine in there and when i think of pac-man the arcade game that is the first thing that comes to mind is the pool in albuquerque that in the clubhouse had a pac-man game and uh you know what can you say about pac-man it, it's just a classic it will never get old it will always be awesome it's just pac-man is pac-man and of course every guy needs a good lady and miss pac-man fit that bill the mazes were different and the mazes that the mazes actually evolved as you play they changed you had different style of mazes and stuff and the cartoons on this one are pretty cool too and so you know every second level in a pac-man game you get you know after the second level you get a cartoon and if you can get to the fifth level you get a cartoon and if you can progress all the way you see the evolution of the cartoon and see what the end result is and that, it was just cool back then because at the time you know we just had pong and then space invaders then pac-man and miss pac-man came along and actually added little cinematics in between some levels whoa one of my all-time favorite games is asteroids and this game for as simple of a concept of a game that it is and the simple graphics that it is will never um never be old it is just a classic that will always remain it remains in my heart it remains it should be in every arcade you know there's not many arcades left which is sad but asteroids was fun and we've got the atari 2600 version it was actually fairly competent and so that was kind of cool we got that and uh you know anytime you see asteroids in the arcade you kind of can't help but play it now a funny note on that there was a guy that ran a gaming shop in ogden in ogden utah and he held the world record for asteroids and that was his claim to fame 
And so, good for him. And he beats his man for two. Nowitzki lifts off. And he drops another couple of pennies in the piggy bank. Up high. If you can think it, I can dunk it. Flips along two. It. Jumps don't bite on the pump. When he pump fakes you, jump fake him back. Can't find the net. Well, that's a fake looking pump fake. And they seal that one with that shot. In this one from section C in row five, seat seven. The Thunder win the game. Now, the next quarter mancher was Contra. Now, how can you not? appreciate this game it was a side scroller where you could run jump shoot collect power-ups get different types of weapons it was just a great shooter and there were many versions of it that came after the initial contra and they tried a few that didn't work like the 3d contra and that kind of stuff but the the original was just amazing and you you had to play it you know, I didn't play it much because I, I really was bad at it, but you always had to at least play it once, you know, each time you went in because it was just such a cool game. The graphics were cool. The gameplay was cool. It, it was just a great game. And so that's one that I go back to every now and then. You know, I have, I have the Contra Collection, which is amazing because you can get that Contra Collection on sale uh, pretty often like it goes on sale about twice or three times a year for five bucks for a Contra collection which includes the arcade versions includes uh, the NES versions the Super NES versions it is just an amazing collection and it's been out long enough to where they are constantly putting that on sale for five bucks so I would suggest to watch for those because they do the Contra collection, they do the Castlevania collection and the arcade collection and that's the Konamis and they you can get each of those for five bucks pretty regularly and I would highly recommend picking up all three of those because for the price you cannot get a better bang for the buck that is those games are awesome now the last game that I want to talk about was an awesome game as well and again this was in Salinas and in the Aladdin's Castle there at the New Game Mall and uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and how awesome was it much like like um, Gauntlet you had the four player cabinet and yeah you're doing the side scrolling Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and you get to pick your turtle and you just you get to go beat up on stuff, get beat up, put another quarter in, beat some stuff up, get beat up, put another quarter in. But it was fun, and it was fun to play co-op on it. So that, that, was, that was a fun game. And that one as well, they released a collection that has all the arcades, has the NES, Super NES, and the Sega games. Um, and they're playable online, which is which is so cool. Then they did the Shredder's Revenge, I think it's called. It's the newer one. And that is fantastic. And that is worth picking up. They kept the old gameplay from the arcades and just stuck it into a very, you know, up-to-date, uh, colorful graphics are great. You know, it's still that cartoony look, and it's fantastic. They kept the side-scrolling beat-em-up. It is an amazing title. So that one as well, if you can find that on sale, I would highly suggest it. So, great games. So that is 10 more games that come to mind when I think of games. And there are so many games, I could make a ton of these videos, and I probably will. But just the, the going into an arcade and finding these games, and they're such a part of my childhood, part of growing up. I have always loved games, I always will. And I have this big soft spot for the games in the 80s. The arcade games in the 80s were just so good. And so, um, yeah, so that's 
that's about all I got for you. I just 10 more games popped into my head. So, uh, you know, let me know what game's coming to your head. You know, when you're thinking about gaming, you're thinking going into the arcades, what, what's the number one game that just pops into your head? You know, me overall, the flat out Donkey Kong, that is the number one game I think of when I think an arcade. So, you know, tell me yours. So, until next time, I will see ya.